for the for the, the musician who's never heard or understands what Twitch can is doing for music, what do you do on Twitch, and what 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 is how is it different from another platform out there as far as for musical purposes? I, I mean, mean, yeah. yeah, I'm gonna make an I'm gonna make an interesting point because I've been recognizing this a lot as of late too. You know, I got my degree in jazz performance, and it still to this day surprises me that. Twitch is a live streaming performance platform, essentially. You know, yeah. everybody you see on Twitch, no matter what content they put out there, uh, they're entertainers. We're entertainers. You know, it's weird how much this aligns. And I've tell, told people a lot how much this streaming thing aligns with my gigging life. Whenever I do gigs outside of uh, online stuff with IRL, whether if I'm playing at a jazz club or I'm doing a wedding band gig, the same thing kind of happens where we get into this performance mode and we have to act and know how to do this i didn't know what i was doing when i first got started on twitch so you know twitch maybe for a lot of people that don't know what it is it's been a thing for like about seven or eight years if i recall correctly before it was actually twitch it was called this uh service called justin justin tv mm -hmm. uh and there was little to no music streamers at that time from what i know um so you know with regards to twitch of course yeah most people know it for video gamers people that stream playing the their favorite video games because they're professional esports players or they just absolutely love playing, you know, Legend of Zelda or Fortnite or whatever game it is. And, you know, people can interact with people directly, like the live streams you see on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, any of the other platforms that have live streaming um, options. But Twitch is solely live streaming. It's, it's the main focus is that person to person interaction. Uh, at the moment of time, at the current moment, not the future or the past, it's the present that I think is the one of the biggest thing I've loved about doing all of this. So, you know, and you could stream whatever you want. Uh, I think music started to curate once it became Twitch because Amazon owns Twitch. Um, I only know so much about it because I've been doing this for like about a year and a half. Um, but at least the potential is you can technically stream whatever you want as long as it's, you know, agreeable to twitch's terms of service <laughs> you right. can't you know, stream like some non-pg stuff or, or whatnot i mean you can go pg-13 but then you know you you're going to cross the line at a certain point depending on the content you're trying to create um so for me uh what i do on twitch is i play a lot of people's requests i like to you know play drums uh versus a video game uh i you know play along to tracks whether i know them or not uh, it's almost like how we do everyday shedding. Sometimes we're playing along to one of our favorite tunes and we want to know what the musicians are doing. Whether it's like you're playing along to Miles Davis or John Coltrane. For me, like either Elvin Jones or Max Roach or, you know, some of the greats that I always appreciate in the currents like Nate Smith or Mark Juliana or anybody along those lines. It's kind of like a Pandora's box whenever I'm I'm jumping into these streams. I may have a theme specific in mind or i try to you know kind of give some sort of direction to my viewers uh but i usually try to give the viewers as much uh acceptability or uh, it's not a great word for it but i try to give them as much uh choices available to kind of help make the stream more exciting for me because i like the interactivity uh involved so i have you know uh, requests so people can request for free but then they're going to donate and help uh, me get to goals whether if it's buying new gear whether if it's you know trying to do a crazy stream or something different or unorthodox like heck I did a um, a couple weeks ago I did an all snare drum kit stream I own like five snare drums and I changed my whole drum set to just snare drums to try it out and see what would happen it worked out but it was different it was very different um, and that, that's kind of what I say is like you can curate the, the stream to whatever you want it to be along those lines, musically speaking or non-musically speaking. It's, it's even just like for the general person out there, even though, you know, we're talking for mostly younger musicians or people that have never heard of Twitch before, if that makes sense.